Yo, so whose side are you on? Chris Rock or Will Smith? Huh? Who gives a fuck? My problem is that I see both views, but I, I would say I'm probably more on Chris Rock's side. Like I would, I, I'm not saying it's right. I would probably do what Will Smith did, but I'm not like what people should. I'm not. I'm not a role model by any means. But yeah. I, I, the thing that bothers me is that comedy is almost it's is almost dead because people are so fucking sensitive that com- comedians are already like it's it's, sensitive. it's it's already so difficult to be a comedian today because so many things are off limits because yeah. everyone's so sensitive yeah. that it's like. I'm kind of just like tired, of like dude, like old school comedy, like back in the early 2000s, like Adam Sandler, like that's my kind of comedy. Yeah, and you can't do that anymore. Yeah, I think yeah, I'm more on the Chris Rock side. I think Will Smith could have literally just been like, "Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth." That would have been fine. I'm just not. I don't condone violence. I you agree, know? but my thing is, I'm like, not a dude, fighter. I'm barely a lover. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and you love the fight. Yeah. I do. It's you fun, fight. Yeah. To, you fight to love. So like, yeah. I, I get sticking up for your woman, but it's like, dude, like you literally went. What was it? Documentary where he's like, yeah, like my wife cheats on me. The entanglement, like, and none of that set you off. But like, this guy one makes like the most lighthearted fucking joke on stage at the fucking Oscars, and you decide to that's the date. I think he's been spiraling for a while. I think it's maybe it was all pent up. Can you imagine if he made a joke about his wife having sex with some other dude instead of the alopecia joke? Yeah. But again, dude, like your like you are your job is being famous. Like people are gonna make like your job is to be like people are gonna make fun of you like that is a part of your job. People don't make funny. I mean, people make fun of you for finishing fourth on Big Brother, but you don't let it get to you. Yeah, it's technically six. Six yeah. on Big Brother. See, yeah, yeah. yeah he was doing you a favor. Yeah. No, I hadn't seen it. I had, I had so. to we could have just, yeah, we could have just you know whatever just kept it right there. Yeah. But yeah, I think you know at the same time, if his intention was for people to stop talking about his wife, he did the opposite of that. Oh yeah, like I would have been like, oh, I'm gonna tell Chris off. Right when I fucking see him, and he's gonna apologize to my wife because I'm a fucking man. I think a man should do the three P's: provide, protect. profess, and protect. Profess, protect. Yeah, I like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. three P's. And I would have fucking. You got to provide. But he, he, yeah, but he fucked up. Now like she's a meme. He's a meme. Oh yeah, he made it, yeah. Way, yeah, worse. Yeah, made it way worse. If she's sensitive about her about, I believe she's alopecia. She she's like, whatever it does to your hair. Like now, like instead of he's drawing more attention to it. Yeah, I wonder what his and thought process right, sure. right there when he said that joke. Split second, he's like, "Okay, do I get up and fucking just go for it, or I chill out?" Well, see if you watch the like, video, he it, like it, he did not look upset when they cut the camera to him. He was like, "Ha ha ha!" But Jada looked upset. Yeah. So yeah. then when they turned the camera, I think he looked at his wife, and that's when she was like, "What?" And once he saw that she didn't like that, that's what triggered him. Yeah. He thought it was funny. But you know, that's a long walk though. He's walking up. He knows, he's like, I'm just going to slap this guy. I'm going to... Like, he had the whole walk to yeah, be like, yeah. I'm going to do this. It was yeah, a total, yeah. like, movie star slap. Like, yeah. straight out of, like, a Marvel movie. But here's the other thing <laughs> that kind of bother, like, yeah. that bothers me. Not bothers me about it, but how... Like, this wasn't an impulsive thing. Like, it was very premeditated. One, he had the whole fucking walk to think about it. It wasn't like he just did it. And two, he didn't punch him. He, he specifically slapped him. So that's a, he was like, you know what? I'm not going to move. He was like, I'm it's smart. It's smart. So he gets in less trouble. But he, like, the point is, is he had enough of a thought process to go, you know what? So I get in less trouble. I'm going to open hand slap him. Meaning that shows premeditation. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, for sure. I think, I, I, th- I think it's like if I admirable like that I'm, he yeah. protected his wife, but he should have done it in a very smart kind of like, you know, you're an adult. You're supposed to be a vessel of. Love and all that shit that he said, you know? Yeah, but protect your wife when she's actually in danger. That wasn't... Yeah, it was a very lighthearted. It's very... And I, and honestly, someone brought up the point that I thought was pretty cool. It's like, dude, G.I. Jean was a badass girl. Like, she was a fucking badass. Yeah, like, dude, it's Jamie okay for a girl... amazing like, in and, that, dude. And Jada pulls off being bald. She's a hot bald chick. She is. She pulls it off. So it's like... And G.I. Jean was a hot bald chick. So it was kind of like... Like, it was it was more of a compliment, I thought. In, in my opinion. Yeah, it was less of a joke, more of an acknowledgement. Like, hey, Jade is here. Like, yeah, you're bald, but you're a badass bitch and you're still hot. Yeah. What about you, dude? Me being bald? No, what's your... You, you got our take. My take on it? Yeah, trying you know, to get I, us canceled right now. <laughs> what's your fucking take, dude? Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Honestly, I just wanted to see you guys fuck yeah, up. I'm, yeah, I'm over the whole situation. I just wanted to see you guys' just take on that. I what are you, Daniel Ratcliffe? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you fucking yeah. feel. Well, I tweeted. We t- saw that fucking uh, t- yeah. uh, Twitter moment yeah, too. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> you guys are on Twitter. Yeah. Um, honestly, I'm I'm very thankful that everyone they they drew attention to let everyone know what alopecia is. 
And now we all know like what fucking wrote this that is. Huh? He had this ready to go. <laughs> like I said, premeditated. <laughs> premeditated. Yeah. Hey, that, I just opened palm slapped you guys. I just slapped you guys. Yeah. I don't know. I, it, it was funny. I was watching. I was watching it. it was Zane and David, and we're, I'm like getting food, like not really paying attention. And then I hear him yell, and then I see him get up, like cluck, 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 cluck. And then he slapped him. Obviously, I'm like, damn, that was that was good. Like, was, oh, that, yeah. a, was that a like a little skit? It like, almost, that yeah, it almost Dude, looked like I there was get, a frame it, missing because it. Went, it you know what's so the crazy fast. thing is I feel like if you watch it, Chris Rock was more startled by the yelling than the slap. Like when he slapped, he was like, shit, I just got the slap shit out of by Will Smith. And then when he said, mm. keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth, that's when he was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like that was what scared him more. If you watch, he was like, I will. Okay, I will. And then he just rolled with it. I was like, you're a professional, but that was impressive. Yeah. That, no, was, was, really, that was, his, was really impressive. His composure was really impressive. Incredible. Incredible composure. I can't imagine him yeah. in the bedroom Going from hard to soft to hard again, like he would definitely keep yeah. his composure and get back up there on the horse. 100%. <laughs>